Hey, what's up guys? Like Butter here, back with another Division video. Now, as you know, I mentioned it recently in, a, in a, one of my most recent videos, that they made it so that it's a cycle now with the blueprints in the Dark Zone safe houses. So I wanted to show you guys what is in the DZ03 safe house. A lot of people were asking in the stream earlier, you know, what blueprints are in, and uh, I'm here to show you that. But before we go into the DZ03, just to let you guys know, make sure to check the other uh, safe houses in the Dark Zone as well. Maybe you'll see something you like. I did see a level 32 firearms vest that is available in DZ02 that you guys should definitely check out. I think there's an electronics one as well. And, uh... Yeah, let's get in. Let's grab this tactical ACR, which is going to be the big go-to weapon. Now, if you guys didn't have a chance to buy the AUG and didn't have the uh, chance to buy the tac or the uh, first wave vector, don't worry about it. I think the ACR is a really, really good weapon, and we're going to craft one just to show you guys what it looks like, all that good stuff. So, DZ03, Dark Zone Vendor. It's going to cost a good chunk of change. Hopefully, you've been stacking up your Dark Zone funds. It's going to cost 309273 But I've been melted with the ACR quite a few times today. So, I think I'm going to pick one of these up myself. So, you can see that there's also a tacti uh, Tactical Super 90 blueprint. Which, I'm not sure how good that is. But the Super 90, as far as I know, is one of the stronger shotguns in the game. It's like an M10 or something. So, we're going to go back to the base of operations. Let's roll once ACR and then we'll see, you know, what the talents are, what the damage output is, and we'll, you know, mess around with the shooting range. I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so we're back at the base of operations. Now, I think I'm going to have to deconstruct a couple of weapons that I picked up in the dark zone to get enough weapon parts for this. I believe it's eight weapon parts, and that, or six weapon parts, something like that. I think I only have a couple. Maybe we'll get lucky here and get a gold weapon part. Oh, blue. Okay, well, it's better than getting a green. Oh, let's get all the weapons that we have out of here. Uh, looks like we only have two, so we might have to see if we can deconstruct something else if uh, it need be. I think we could probably trade up the division techs if we need to. Let's see, let's go down here. Uh, weapon parts. So we can make one. Can we trade any of these up? No, not really. So, uh, let's deconstruct the weapons that we have left over that we don't need. Burst wave. I, I still want to keep a, a hold on to that just in case. So here's a Marine Super 90 that I got. We can deconstruct that. Um, yeah, I can probably deconstruct this as well. Let me double check. Uh, also, pistols. I don't know if I went... Oh, I have a lot of pistols I can deconstruct. Okay. Let me just make sure none of these are really good. Uh, M9A1. That looks really cool. I might hold on to that just in case it is good. All right. So let's deconstruct all these. That should be enough weapon parts. We have four weapon parts. Um, and we have enough DZ uh, gold division techs. So I think we can craft one. Yeah, let's go. Um, so as you can see, it costs six weapon parts. Gold weapon parts, of course. Um, four tools, which I have plenty of. And four division tech. So let's roll one of the tactical ACRs and see what we can get. Don't forget, this is an assault rifle, so you're not going to have the, you know, the uh, insane crit hit damage, but you're probably going to do more damage on hit, and uh, the RPM is insane. The RPM on my AUG is 911, and I added, like, I think 25% fire rate. So the rate of fire on the tactical ACR is insane. And it looks like the mag is decent size as well. So let's craft one of these. Maybe we can get something good. Um, brutal, deadly, balance. Unforgiving, deadly, and restored. Okay. So that's not too bad. It's not great. But it's good enough for me to at least show you guys the gun. So let's put the gun on here. So 82, uh, uh, 8200 damage. Uh, let's put all of our attachments on now. Uh, let's strip this. I think that's, uh, no, I think what I'll do is I'll just put 
put it all on from uh, depending on what the DPS is. Okay, so red dot sight. Uh, we probably want headshot damage and accuracy. Or do we want... Uh, we probably want headshot damage and critical hit chance. I think you need the critical hit chance. Yeah, that's going to be removed from the hog. Uh, because your crit's going to be a little bit lower. But let's see. Crit hit damage, 19% accuracy. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take that off the hog. So we're basically taking everything off the hog here. Weapon damage. Uh, looks like that would be really good as well. Right, let's do this so 60 bullet mag which seems to be really nice okay so let's use the spray uh the bumblebee which is the skin that you get from doing the challenging mode missions okay so for some reason it says my dps is 161,000, which is crazy low i'm not sure why but Let's go down to the uh, the shooting range and, and see what's going on with that. I don't know why it's it's incredibly low. It might be glitched right now. Or it's just really that low. I don't know. We'll have to see. Alright. We're fully restocked. Okay, so this is the ACR. Um, the ACR is supposed to be pretty OP. Oh, we're missing out on, a, on, a, on an underbarrel. That's why. Uh, hip fire accuracy. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so it looks like it's 179k, which is a lot lower um, than my AUG, obviously. But let's see how hard it hits. Uh, wow, this thing feels weird. Okay, so you can see you shoot really fast. Let's see up close what the damage is. 86,000 crits in the head. Uh, what's it from this range? 86,000 as well. So, um, I think this gun could be really, really useful and maybe extremely strong. What you guys are seeing here is the recoil is in absolutely madness so i think what you would want to do here is okay these attachments that i have on it aren't perfect for the gun i would consider getting some sort of stability um maybe instead of this have a um f uh, forward grip where it has like initial bullet stability or just bullet stability in general. You're going to need some sort of stability in order to control the recoil. The recoil is insane. So it looks like maybe it could be one of those weapons you just spray. But I mean look at the accuracy. This is with 36% hip fire accuracy. It just seems to like spray all over the place. So yeah I don't know. Maybe I'll try this out. Um... But I just want to show you guys what the rifle looks like and stuff. Looks pretty cool. Let me, let me stand. Hold on. Let me stand over here. Turn around so you guys can see it. Yeah. So maybe if you guys have any suggestions of how, you know, the new players uh, that just hit 75. I know some of you guys just hit 75 in the dark zone. And you're kind of bummed out that the vector and the AUG aren't there. I think you can buy this ACR and uh, rock with it for a little bit. Unless you want to just wait. If you want to just wait until the AUG or something else comes back around, um, you can definitely do that. Now, the thing... Here's the thing. So, you have the, so, um, the submachine guns, obviously. Like these here. Um, that just get a bunch of crit hit chance as like a, a basic um passive and assault rifles don't really get anything and you can see my my aug does more damage than than my acr so i'm not really entirely sure like i don't get why submachine guns have crit chance but assault rifles don't like i think assault rifles instead of having crit chance maybe instead you have something else like uh i don't know some sort of talent or some sort of effect like maybe 
every tenth bullet or if you hit five bullets in a row it, it, it um you know puts the bleed effect on somebody or something like that that may be too extreme uh but i think if they did something with lmgs and made it so that something happened just anything I think it would be more viable because at this point, why would you use this when you can use an AUG that does more damage and shoots faster and has 25% more crit, you know? I definitely think assault rifles need a bit of a a, a buff in certain situations because it just, it doesn't, I, I think everything should have its place in this game and uh, maybe, maybe you can just strive off the range that this gun has. I don't know. I think once you get some stability, uh, I think you can probably start destroying people with this gun. Also, you could try instead of... Uh, I, I remember on my AK, the fire rate was really, really good. So try maybe on your mag, if you get an extended mag on this, you can get fire rate um, and magazine size. I think that might be better than having the weapon damage because the weapon damage, the, the weapon damage isn't going to help that much when your weapon damage is already low. You might as well just get, um, attacks or, uh, fire rate so that you can shoot a lot faster. So even though your bullets are doing lower damage, you're going to be outputting more damage, uh, in return. So yeah, that's what I would do, guys. If you guys are interested in the ACR, be sure to check it out in DZ03. Also, Super 90, if any of you guys end up buying that blueprint, let me know in the comment section below how it is. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, I, I wasted my four division techs on this piece of poop just to show you guys uh, what's in the Dark Zone DZ03. And like I said, there is a firearms vest that you guys should check out in DZ02 as well. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.